Peace and greetings, family. Peace and greetings. How y'all doing out there? How y'all doing out there? This is Brother Sunray 9 coming back in this house one more time. Coming back in this house one more time, man, for Culture Freedom Radio Network. Most definitely in the house. And Culture Freedom Nation truly in the house. Most definitely, man. Uh, it's a hotel, Black Power, Shalom, Assalamu Alaikum, and whatever salutations, man, that you like, man, and hey, what fits you and your school of thought. Peace to you, peace to you out there. Hey, I want to come in the house, man, just share something else on, from my mind today, if I can. If y'all don't mind, if I come in here and just share something with y'all today. Check this out, man. I want to put this out. Since the conscious community, not as a whole now, I'm not speaking as a whole, but some people in the conscious community love to do these debates. They love debating and stuff like that. Check this out. I got one. I got one. I'm going to finally succumb to the debates. I want to see then... In the debating arena, since they're going to debate, and it's always like it's the comedic brothers trying to debate the Hebrew Israelites. Since they're going to do that, check this out. Here's what I want y'all to debate on. Can I get y'all to debate on, or really not to debate, but it's really to out-teach. That's what I want y'all to do. See, can y'all out-teach each other? All right, brother. All right. All right, right. Let me feel my name the thing. I want to see, can y'all out-teach each other? On the moral codes of conduct. Yeah. Because what I'm talking about, you know, in in because they do mention like Ma'at, and some brothers always want to talk about, well, the Hebrew Israelites got their commandments from the, the uh, decorations of innocence uh, from uh, Ma'at. So, and if they said they copied it and they this and that got that, well, hell, I tell y'all what. So that means y'all got some, we have some moral codes of conduct in the comedic uh, community. We have laws, right, to follow in the comedic community, right, or in the tr uh, comedic uh, traditions. So, and the, in the, the Hebrews have what they call the Torah, the dealing with the laws, right? And I got these books I'm going to show y'all here in a minute. So I would like to see them have a see who can out teach since y'all gonna debate anyway see who can out teach our people the moral codes and conduct and the reason i'm saying this is because our people man need some damn moral codes of conduct because like i'm looking at what's happening with a lot of our people man we have gotten out of the way we don't our people don't have no damn discipline out here they're doing everything under the sun that they ain't got no damn business doing we as so-called African people, comedic people, hell, Hebrew people, whatever we want to call ourselves. We're doing things, man, that we do have no business doing as a race of people. And y'all know where we're getting a lot of this stuff from. Like I said, when you're in Rome, you do as the Romans do. So we're doing as other races of people are doing that does not, was is really wasn't that uh, as an ancient people and our customs and heritage that we wasn't doing at one particular time but now we are taking on the ways of other people and i tell y'all from the book uh the book of revelation well honorable elijah muhammad used to always teach that we got to come out of here say come up out of her my people so you be not be partakers in her sins and her plagues we got to come up out of her but in the way that we got to get our people back on track and teach them the more codes of conduct so if in in ancient tamare or kemet if we had the Declaration of Innocence, which they call the Laws of Ma'at, let me show y'all this one right there while I'm getting in there. This right here, this, oh, I hope I can get it good. This was transcribed by the uh, the master teacher, Dr. Malachi Z. York, uh, what they call the, falsely called the Egyptian Book of the Dead or the Coming Forth by Day. And a lot of us, we call the Per M. Haru, you know, from the scribe of Ani. Uh, this is one that was described by Doc. And and it has in here the decorations of innocence in it, and so you know what I have not stolen. And let me let me give y'all something. There. I have not stolen. I have not robbed. I have I have not destroyed the offerings. And you know I have not slain. It sound like some out of the Ten Commandments, don't it? Uh huh. That's what I know. That's what the people always say. They stole the Ten Commandments <laughs> from us out of Kemet from the laws of my heart. Okay. Now here's is the Torah. Or the Tanakh. Let me see. I'll give y'all a good one. Here's the Tanakh. It deal with the laws and the prophets and all of this stuff and the writings and everything. Y'all know what this one said. Thou should not steal. Thou should not do this. And hell, I'm going to give it to you, y'all, from even 
the gay uh, and lesbian community where it says uh, in Leviticus 18 and 22, man shall not lie with mankind as he lay with womankind. That's in the law. That's, in, that's here. That's in this Torah or the Tanakh right here. That's the laws. So our people, man, need to get back on being taught the law. So if y'all going to debate, and you're going to debate about Kemet and the Hebrew Israelite doctrine, man, let's, let me see which one of y'all can out-teach our people the laws. Y'all see that? Let me get it here. I want That's what I want to see. Let's see who can out-teach. And that's what it's damn near y'all doing, having a competition about teaching. So let's see who can out-teach our people the laws. Huh? Whether it's the Torah or the Tanakh or it's the coming forth by day or really not the coming forth by day but the, the laws of innocence, declaration of innocence. I want to see which one of y'all going to out teach our people this so our people can get back on the right conduct, the right codes of conduct. Because man, like I said, we got a man doing all kind of stuff. Our sisters out here calling themselves all kind of B's and H's and thoughts and 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 Y'all ratchet and uh, and all kind of different stuff, man. Uh, brothers doing everything on the sun. How they disrespecting our sisters. Hell, they robbing, stealing, killing, and murdering. We doing everything that we have no damn business doing as a so-called African people, comedic people, Moorish people, Hebrew Israelite people. I don't give a goddamn what name we calling ourselves. Cause we you know we call we got all kind of different names. Cause hell, we as a so-called original people, hell, we are all of those and more. So what our thing is, we're going to debate, debate on teaching our goddamn people, or not just, not debate, but out teach one another, goddamn it, who's going to be able to teach our people the right codes of conduct so we can start living right. That's what it's all about. I mean, I don't get what, I mean, studied in Kemet and all of this stuff is some great history. Y'all see, I even got the hats on, now I see I got the, even the master teacher shirt on, the fraternity Dr. Malachi Z. York. I got the shirt on. I got that rocking it. Yeah. Big up to Doc. Man, and uh, his struggles, what he's going through. Um, and all the Nawabians out there, peace and love their hotel, uh, hotel uh, Jamal. Um, but it, it, the thing is, man, we got to get our people back on track, fam. We got to get our people back to living the right codes of conduct. Even when you join a lot of fraternities and sororities and fraternal orders, right? They give you laws of laws and codes of conduct. Even when we under the joining in the ancient Egyptian order under Dr. Malachi Z. York of the Federity, uh, we call him Amina, Am, Amanu Ra Amata, uh, Ramanu Ra Ankatas. My bad, y'all. The entire time. We had in our handbooks, and I ain't gonna go into it, but we had in handbooks codes of conduct. We had codes of conduct. How we were supposed to act. And represent ourselves, especially when we're in our garb, in the ancient Egyptian order garb. And just with any organization, you have a code of conduct that you have to live by and represent. If you're going to be a part of this, how you should represent yourself. So, I'm saying, family, look, we as a original people, and I ain't going to give no different names. We as a so-called original people on this planet had a code of conduct, a standard of living that we went by, no matter what culture we took on at that time, but it was, a, you know, ancient cultures that we had. We have to get back on track with our codes, decent codes of conduct of how to live. So if y'all going to debate or teach against each other, damn it, out-teach each other, out teach I want to see y'all out teach each other and teaching our people who to how to live right. So if y'all if, if 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 here in the negative confessions where it says I have not stolen, the Bible says thou shalt not steal. I want to see who can out teach the public or the people that right there uh, the best. Break it down to our people the best. Who can break that down the best so our people can stop stealing. I have not killed, but thou shalt not kill. The the negative confessions or the declarations of innocence, I'm sorry, says that I have not slain. The Bible says, or the Torah, or the Tanakh says, thou shalt not kill. Can we out teach our people? Which one of y'all gonna out teach our people about this killing? 
that's happening that we are doing to each other. Not what the other races of people are doing, but what we are doing to each other. Who's going to out-teach our people that one right there? Huh? Which one of y'all going to out-teach our people that one? That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. That I don't want, I don't give a damn about who had it first. I don't give a damn if the, if the commissions or the Kimites had the decorations of enters of the laws of my art first. How you living? I don't give a damn if the Hebrew Israelites had the, 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 the commandments first. 360 laws and, and uh, laws and commandments and codes first. I don't give a damn about that. It's just about how are you living him. Because, you know, those of us who in the, and maybe say we subscribe to the comedic way of life. God damn it, y'all ain't teaching it. Y'all not teaching the laws of my I don't hear I don't hardly hear nobody basically in 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 the in the in the, in the schools in the science so called science of Kemet that would teach that primarily teach about teaching our people man with thou shalt not kill thou shalt not slay I have not slayed brother remember the laws of my heart my brother that I have not robbed I have not stolen I have not done this you you making a declaration that you have not done these things compared to the Bible it says thou shalt not. We're not teaching this to our people. So our people are out here robbing, stealing, killing, fornicating. And that's in, even in here too. I have not fornicated with the fornicators. That's in the Declaration of Innocence as well. The Bible says thou shalt not fornicate. Or thou shalt not commit adultery and all of this stuff. Damn it, that's what we need to be getting our people back on, man. The, the more codes of conduct. So when we say how our people, man, don't get along with each other... How we killing each other? How we doing all of this black on black crime? How we we talk about what all the negative stuff we doing to each other? But damn it, look, we as a so called original people, we have codes of conduct. We just ain't teaching our people. Well, I can't say that the Hebrew Israelites, at least they out there trying to teach uh, teach the people. When I see like the brothers out there, Captain Dzoriak, Jenny Johanna, and all of them, they are trying to teach the people, and they talk about the laws all the time. So we de if we gonna debate, and I really don't say debate because it ain't gonna be a debate on that. I'll teach the people that in the community since y'all wanna do something. That's what I wanna see. That's what I wanna see. I don't wanna see no goddamn debates on who did what first because goddamn it, y'all know what the European over there running all of our shit. Excuse my French. <laughs> Probably we French say they running all of our stuff. Whether we could, whether we made it first, whether we created it first, they are in charge of, of, of it all. And they are teaching us our history, the parts that they want us to know. And I'm going to be doing a show on that later. Now we trust the white man to teach us our history. That's going to be up on Blog Talk later. All right, friend, let me get up, get up out of here, man. Like I said, man, whether you're going to be teaching us. The, from the per in my rule, teaching us the laws, the negative, uh, the declaration of innocence, or you're gonna be teaching the laws of the Torah. Our people need some codes of conduct, man. Damn it, teach it, teach it, teach it, teach it, so we can get our people back on track and get them out of this foolishness. I hear all, all these damn drugs. Our sisters shaking on these damn poles in these strip clubs. We gotta get our people back on track. By any means necessary, as Brother Malcolm said, Brother Omar Wally, peace, y'all. Love, black power. Y'all stay positive, man. Let's get back on track. One love.